So first things first, this is the Irish sea moss that I use. It's Transition Nutrition and it's gluten free, vegan and non-GMO. The first step is going to be to soak the Irish moss in water. Um, you should soak it for a few hours, but I just leave it overnight to make sure that it's uh, really moist. So first things first is I have to rinse this sea moss off. Make sure that you rinse and clean off your sea moss to remove any sand or dirt. It smells like straight up turtle tank, y'all. Like turtle tank for real. And this is what it looks like. I have a small amount. Um, make sure that you get a Tupperware that's big enough or a container that's big enough. Um, because this little bit, once it starts absorbing the water, is going to stretch and become a lot, which is why I only put a little bit. And typically, sea moss, when refrigerated, it'll last up to two weeks in the fridge to be on a safe side. So, make sure that you clean all of the dirt and sand out. I want to let it sit for a few minutes. Before you soak it. Now, typically, you are going to want to do one cup of sea moss to one and a half to two cups of water. Sometimes I just eyeball it because I made it so many times already. Like, as long as you have uh, enough water in it, you should be alright. More than the amount of sea moss that you're putting in there. I've covered it and I am going to let it absorb overnight. Uh, this way it's nice and soft Hey you guys, so it's the next morning. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in This is what it looks like that little bit that I put in there soaked up a lot of water And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it in my blender with a little bit of water and Then we will have sea moss gel Okay, this is what it looks like It's a lot that little bit that's a lot so don't let the bag fool you don't try to take the whole bag and and uh, fit it in a container with water because it, it expands a lot this this will last me a while because um basically what I do is I'll, I'll put in like my smoothies uh, that's that's how I uh, take it some people take it straight up but I'm telling you guys it smells like turtle tank it tastes like how it smells I feel like peanut butter is a great way to combat the taste. If you make a shake with peanut butter in it, you'll be good. I'm using my handheld uh, Nutribullet. So this is half of what I got when I soaked it. So I'm going to just do this two times. Now that I blended that down, I added the other half of it. I don't like my consistency to be watery. I like it to be like a gel. So a thick gel, I'd say. There you go guys, my CMOS gel is done. Um, I will compare it to the consistency of applesauce. It actually looks like applesauce too. So, I'm going to just cover it, store it in the fridge. Remember, um, you want to keep it for a maximum of two weeks. Um, after that, it will start getting old.